Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. One question I get asked all the time is how do I use the fabrics I own in EQ? Let me share with you how to find those fabrics on manufacturers' websites and then import them into Electric Quilt. The first step to working with fabric collections is to actually obtain some from the internet and then transfer them to your computer. I'm going to start by bringing in the Bella Solid collection from Moda. So I'm going to, um, first of all, just do a, a search for Moda fabric. And I can find on the website their United Notions site. So I'm going to click on that. And at the bottom, you can see there is a download section. So go ahead and click on that. And this includes all of their collections that are out there. So now I'm going to do a search for Bella Solids. And you can see the collection there. I want the JPEG images, which is the blue swatch. So I'm going to select that. And all of the, uh, those Bella Solids are now downloading to a zip file. Once that's complete, I'm going to double click on my zip file button. And now it opened in my zip program. And if I open it, you can see here are all of my various images. And they're still in the zip file, so I do need to extract them. So I'm going to select the first one, and I'm going to do a Control A, select them all, and do an extract. Now, right now, it says it's just going to open in the downloads. I want to actually create a file just for the Bella Solids. So I'm going to um, name it that, and I'm going to select Open. Okay, now I need to find them. So I'm going to uh, do a search by Bella. And here's my Bella Solid Collection. So I'm going to double click on that. And I can see all of my items. And as I scroll down, I can see there's a bunch of things that I really don't want, which are like their fat quarter collections. And so I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to scroll to the end with the shift key selected on my keyboard. I'm going to select the last one. And now I'm going to just delete those. So now my Bella Solid collection is just the fabric swatches that I'm interested in. Now I'm going to go ahead and open Electric Quilt. And I'm just going to call this one Fabric Collections. And I'll select OK. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my sketchbook. I'm going to go to the Fabric tab and I'm going to select Clear and I'm going to select OK. So this is going to basically clear out everything that is in my current fabric collection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my libraries and I'm going to go to my fabric library. And I'm going to import from image files. So I will go ahead and navigate to my downloads And I'm going to go to my Bella Solid Collection, double click on that. I'm going to select my first one. And I'm going to scroll down to the end with my Shift key selected. And I'm going to select Open. Now, this does take a well because there are a lot of items in here. Um, you can see there are 271 um, items. I'm going to select the first one and do a Control A. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to my sketchbook. And I'm going to select Close. Now, if I view my sketchbook, and I'm going to show as many as I can on a page, you can see that I've got that whole range of fabrics now in my sketchbook. Now, let's say I also want to put them in my library. 
I can go to Library, Fabric Library, and I'm going to go to My Library, and right now I know I've got a Moda collection, so I'm going to click the plus by it, and I'm going to take an unused style, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to modify the style, and I'm going to call this one um, Bella Solids. And I'll select OK. Now I'm going to go to my sketchbook. I'm going to take the first one. I'm going to do another Control A. And I'm going to do a copy. I'm going back to my libraries, to the Bella Solids in there. And now I'm going to do a paste. And I am going to now save the library. So a lot of times we'll put things first in the um, library and then take them in the sketchbook. You can also do it the other way. Now it's only letting me save the first, it says 254 designs. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Oh, the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to go to the next style, right click, do a modify style, and I'm just going to call this Bella Solids Part 2. And I'll select OK. And then I'm going to go to my sketchbook. I'm going to select the last set. I'm going to do a copy. Go back to my library, Bella, Sol 2, Bella Solids Part 2, select Paste and then select Save Library. So I have them now broken into two parts. Not all manufacturers have zip files, but it is still easy to get the fabrics into Electric Quilt. So let me show you an example. Um, right now I'm on the Robert Kaufman site and I thought I would pull in the Kona Cottons. So I'll go to their All Fabrics. Um, I'm going to sort by the collection and find Kona Cottons. And there isn't a zip file, but they have them um, on the website here. So what I can do is basically, um, if I right click on one of the images, I can do a save image as, and now I can create, uh, I'm going to put this in my images file in EQ, I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Kona Cottons. And it notice that the image saves with the file name so we can still get the fabric information. So I will do save on that. And after the first one, they go very fast. It's just a right click, save image as, save, and then I keep going. And so I, you know, there's a lot of fabrics here. Um, I guess this will take about a half an hour to um, download those all, but it's still, um, or, you know, a relatively fast process. And now um, when I want to pull it into EQ, it's exactly the same as I did with the Moda fabrics. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com dot com.